Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. The area down here in South Texas, uh, Corpus Christi, uh, we're right on the bay, on the water. Uh, it's uh, pretty flat, and uh, usually it's pretty hot and sticky down here. That was probably the hardest thing for me to get used to, being from Southern California. I was used to that 70 degree weather all the time. Uh, here you gotta get used to about 90 and 100% humidity. Uh, probably part of the reason I like working at night. Could you repeat uh, the status on his DL for me? What's going on? What's happening? A dog killed another dog and strangled him to death. Right over here? Okay, uh, we got called here to a, a vicious dog call, apparently. One dog's attacked another dog. It's going to be a 93 Ford truck. LP's dead, x-ray 5. Blue in color. That's 93 Ford truck. What's going on? Well, my, it, was my neighbor, it was my neighbor's dog. Um, they came over here telling me about it, you know? Okay, they were crying. They walked in right there and they told me what had happened. And I ran over here. And I ran over here as soon as I could and I grabbed him by the collar. Okay, ma'am, I can listen to one it person a, at a time. A, okay. It was a pet bull, and I, I don't. I know the dog, you know. I know okay. who it is, okay. but I mean, it's not my dog, so I just grabbed him you know, by okay. the collar. And the collar right there stood there. It came off. And, uh -huh. and Where? It came off, and I, I mean, I don't want the dog to bite me. And, and you, okay. him, you know, so Where? I just grabbed him, and the dog didn't ever, never let go. I mean, Where is the dog now? Is he dead? Yeah, yeah. he killed him by the neck. Okay. What what kind of dog? What color was it? A pit bull, a brown pit bull. Okay. Do you know whose dog it is? They're supposed to know, but they don't want to say. Kill them. I think they live up there. They live up there. Who's, whose dog is it? It's my dog. Do, do you have the dog right now? Yes, sir. You got him contained then? Okay, okay, okay ma'am. Okay, ma ma calm relax, calm relax, down. Relax, okay. Relax. I know you're upset, but just calm down. Tell, can I talk to you over here yeah, for a minute? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, it appears he got out through the okay. bottom of the right hand corner. You can go check the fence. I mean, he, he got okay. out. But he's contained time. right now, right? Yeah, he can't he, get out? Yeah, he okay. listens. He obeys me. Okay, okay. You know, and it, Charlie 310, I'm going to be out at uh, Allen Chris Circle. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what, what's going to have to happen here, okay? We're not, we're not going to do anything to the dog. We're not going to hurt the dog. But uh, anim animal control is going to need to come out right, and, yeah. and take custody of the dog, and they're going to have to make sure that the dog's not rabid. It doesn't have rabies or anything like that, okay? Uh, and no, I understand it, it's, that, yeah. it's usually about a two- or three-day process. They observe the dog, but nobody's going to hurt your dog. Okay? No, no, no. I mean, that's, okay. I mean, hey, that's the least of my worries. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I feel so bad for this lady. just lost her, her husband not too long ago. And, Pop, I mean, you don't understand how I feel, man. I just went to pick up my little sister to skate and I get home, and they tell me this happened. Is the dog male, female? Male. It's a pit bull? Yes, sir. What, what's the dog's name? Damien. I tell you what. And my girlfriend has a puppy exactly like that. Okay. Dog. That's why she's over there crying. She I, won't even. I tell you what. Uh, if you do me a favor and just just kind of stand by, it might be a good idea. To kind of stay on your side because she's pretty upset. I'm going to try to calm her down a little bit. Okay. Appreciate it. Uh, th this happens every so often. A uh, dog gets loose and attacks another dog. No one but the dog. Hello. Who, who's the owner of the dog? My what, what's your name, ma'am? Gloria. Gloria what? Miss... Uh, 
here's what's gonna happen, okay? Animal control is gonna come out and they're gonna they're gonna take custody of the dog. And uh, what they do is they quarantine the dog for three to four days and, and make sure that you know the dog doesn't have rabies or anything like that. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you and say that the dog is necessarily going to be destroyed. I, I can't guarantee that. That's up, that'll be up to a judge. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, yes, ma'am. How can he be destroyed when he's dead? Okay. And, uh, but, but the dog will be taken to, to the animal shelter and contained. As to what's going to happen to it after that, I can't really tell you. It'll be up to animal control and a judge. But, well, he's uh, going to be a mean, a mean okay. dog because they can't handle them themselves. Has the dog caused any other problems other than this? Well, I would just go into the other dog because you wouldn't let me go to this dog so I could do something. They weren't doing anything, just holding the, ho the host real well, far away. They were afraid of the dog. They were, they were afraid of the dog. And I, I tried to get to the other door, but my sister stopped me, and I said, I don't care if I get killed, but I want to save that dog, because okay. that's her only companion. Her husband okay. died three years ago. And do you both live here? Both here? No, no, I live in San Antonio. She just okay. came to visit, but she got attached to the dog, too. Cause I was good. just within five minutes ago. That dog, I want you to kill him. To kill the dog. Okay, well, like I said, we can't, we can't do that. What we are going to do is let animal control you take custody of the dog, dog and, and it'll be up to them. Dog. Okay, Rosie, it, it, it'll, it'll be up to them as to what actually happens to the dog, but it will be taken away. Okay. All right. You were a bad boy. You know that? You were a bad boy. You did wrong. You know that. Come on, let's go. Come on. What the? What, what's going to happen with the dog after they quarantine it? Is it necessarily going to be destroyed, or not necessarily? Uh, if it's a first offense, they can go ahead and you know, pending they pay all, all boarding fees and all of that, and get the dog back out and stuff. So they'll get the dog back after More they pay the boarding fee. The I get these calls about one, maybe once every six months, and you know, it, it's almost always a pit bull. You know, it's a it's a lot of a lot of liability, but people like them. Uh, I've been with the Pasadena Police Department approximately five and a half years, almost six years now. I've, I used to be a machinist. I used to stand behind a, a machine all day long, and uh, I realized that wasn't for me, that this is the type of job that I really enjoyed doing, and it's been enjoyable for me uh, for the past six years, and I'd hopefully be enjoyable for the next 20 years, because uh, that's what I plan on doing, I can't see myself doing anything else but this. Right now, we're uh, en route to a disturbance between a man and a woman, and uh, should be right here at this complex 3260 now. Oh, it's over there that white house on that corner. It's that white house right there. On the corner? Call the police? Where's he at? Hey, guy. Why don't you put the baby down for a minute? Let's, let's talk. Put, put, the, put the baby down. Let me talk to you for a second, okay? Let's go inside. Watch Yeah. Okay. Put your hands on your head. 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 Wait, well, hang on a second. Just let me sit down. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Tell me what's going on. I got mad, you know, I said, all the time bingo, 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 spending the money, bingo, bingo, bingo. Yeah. No, I got mad all the time like that. See? But I don't want no problem, you know? For real, I don't want no problem. Come on, man. Okay. Well, you know that, I mean, you know, whenever your child sees this, so if she sees you hitting your wife, she's going to see that and think that's the right thing to do. Yeah. Okay? 
So, I mean, you know, that's what you got to realize is that, you know, little, it's not just you and your wife, it's, it affects your children, too. Yeah, I how, how long have y'all been married? About nine, nine years. Nine years? Yeah. Okay. Right, hang on just one second. I'm looking for a belt. With the buckle, a brown belt with the buckle. That's what he struck her with over here. Hey. Did you hit it with the belt? No, I'm I'm you know. Okay. Hold on that for me. Okay. Let me uh let me talk to her for a minute. Do you speak English? Yeah. Okay. He he claims you have a problem like playing bingo all the time. I go to bingo, but that ain't nothing. Tell me, is that something to beat me up? Because I went with my sister. That ain't no reason to beat me up. Okay. Do you have any do you have any injuries on you? No, you just hit me right here in my head. Where show me where? I had did like that. I don't so it's on the back of your arm here? Yeah. Okay, you said he hit you with the belt? Okay. Uh has this has this happened before? Yeah, I'm tired of being abused. Mm -hmm. Especially in front of my children. Okay. I don't go for that. Okay. I just tell him I want to leave right. Mm -hmm. I'll get my divorce and everything. I want to leave right. I don't want no problems. Okay. But that's what I want him to know, too, that I don't want him. If I go stay in my family's house, I don't go bother them either. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they'll give me a place to stay as long as he don't go mess with me. Okay, so do you have family around here that you can go stay with, somebody yeah. that you can stay with tonight so you'll be safe? My dad. Okay, do you need to get some things together? Yeah, I want to call my 11-year-old and get her some school clothes. Okay. If y'all don't mind. That's fine. Okay. Well, obviously you guys have problems, okay? You can't stay together like this, not in front of this child. Okay, this child's watching everything that's going on right now. She sees daddy hit mommy, okay? That's not a good sign. Not, All right? Not. What we're gonna do now, we have a uh, case of uh, domestic abuse. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call the district attorney and uh, see if they will accept charges and uh, see what their recommendation on the situation is. Well, what, what, why are you always having arguments with her? What, what, because she goes plays bingo? Oh, okay. And when you hit, when you hit her with the belt, you flung it like that and then hit her? No. And it hit her over here? No. No, you can't touch it. How'd you no. hit her? Show me, just tell me, how'd you hit her? Yeah, like that, you know? Did this part hit her? No, 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 hit her? no, no, no. No, it didn't? No, that one, no, no. But if you hit her this time, I mean, how do I know that you didn't hit her before? Yeah, I'm not gonna hit no more, man. But I'm gonna try to get my divorce. I'm has he hit you before? Yes. He has hit you before? So this belt is not the first time. You want the, the Shh, I'm talking to her. Okay. So he has hit you before. Yes. Ma'am, what do you say? Go ahead, step outside. Okay, so you are saying that uh, that he did he had did he have the belt on? No. What okay. he did, he got the belt like where the hanging clothes are. How many times did he hit you? One time. One time. He, he, he had a beer bottle, uh -huh. a beer can, and I don't know if you could spell me out. Did, did he pour beer on you? Okay, so did it, when he hit you, did it hurt? You know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, I said, yeah, it did hurt. And, uh, okay, we'll do it. And what is your name? Okay, sir, I need you to stand up. Go ahead, stand up, honey, and turn around. Turn around. You're being placed under arrest for domestic violence. We'll get your shoes. We'll get your shoes, We'll get your shoes. We'll get your shoes. We'll get your shoes. Do you want me to transport? I have to. Yes. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Put your There's step. Where's his shoes right here. Where's his shoes? They're right here. Did you get them? His shoes are. Sit on this side. Uh, can you do me a favor? Pop the trunk, please. Watch your head. I got one thing. You got him? Okay. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. I'm only going to keep him because that way I know how much okay. time I got to okay, this do is, what I Okay, he's being arrested for family violence, okay, which is a Class A misdemeanor in the state of Texas. That means he's going to go down to Harris County Jail. Okay, it's going to be at least a day or so before he can be, before he can be bonded out, okay? Okay, because I get scared that way I could get my I stuff understand. and get out because right. he had told me if I would ever call the police that I was going to be sorry. Okay. So it's like a threat to you. Sure. You know, I'm okay. scared. Well, you, right now, I mean, you, you do have time, okay, to go ahead and get your stuff together, get your children together, okay, if you want to do that. Um, he's not going to know where you're going, okay. 
Well, we're going to go ahead and take him for right now. I need to get a little bit more information from you, and then, uh, you know, but you go ahead and do what you need to do, OK? OK, thanks. I've been on patrol about six years now. I work one of the busiest districts that we have. Uh, even though I've been out six years, I still like to uh, catch crooks and put people in jail. Still makes my day. We've got a full moon tonight, and a lot of people are superstitious, but uh, it does seem to uh, create a little more activity. People seem to be a little more active when they have that full moon out, which means we're a little busier. We're in an area now uh, known for drug activity over here. They sell a lot of crack cocaine in here and hang out on the corners and wait for passing cars. So we're gonna drive through the area now and see if we can't get any anybody selling tonight. I've chased quite a few people in this neighborhood. And you never know if they want to run from us tonight. Okay, I got a mail here on the bus. They were talking to the guy with the car window. Let's see what they're up to here. They saw me and they started driving on. What? Up here on uh, Langley. What's up, guys? Step over here for just a second, guy. Hey, you on the bike? Step right over here. Is that your car? Right here on this side. Right here on this side. Right here on this side. I got one on the ground. Uh, it's uh, 4230. I got one uh, black male on the ground. We're uh, southbound on Barnum. He's got blue shirt and uh, blue pants. He's uh, running uh, east through the through the yard. Where? Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands now. I'll shoot. Let me see your hands. Put them on your head. Put them on your head. You got him? The other one. Put it back here. 2.30, no, I'm off of Langley. I've got him in custody. Two one in custody off of Langley. Just don't move. Well, you run from me. I'm afraid I know it's scared. You're scared, huh? Yes, sir. How many times have you been to TGC, man? Mm. Huh? What? what all we got down here, man? Nothing, that's just a shirt. You always walk around with shirts in your drawers? Yes, sir, because I, I, uh, I took off and put on that shirt. Usually they have different colored uh, shirts, and they'll peel a layer off. That way, when we're looking for a male with a dark blue shirt, and uh, he peels the blue one off, and next thing we see is a, uh, a male in a green shirt, and we think it's, uh, or assume it's another person, but uh, he evidently wasn't hip to the program. I didn't know. 32. I don't know. I just stand up. Negative. Negative. Hold up, under control. Just hold up right there. Where's your partner at? No, he was, he was talking. Davidson, bring the car over here. Well, I don't have nothing. I was just scared. I was smoking that stuff. Here. Smoking that stuff? How long have you been smoking that stuff? I just started back here. He ain't on parole or nothing for that? No, sir. No, sir. You never been in jail for possession? No, sir. You have? No. You on probation right now for that? No, sir. You already did all your time? No, sir. I don't have watch, watch, watch your back. Watch your back. There's a car. Here's your here's ride. Hold it right here. Watch your head. Oh, you able to get a good search on him? Yeah. Take that here. Let's just empty his pockets out. 
Oh, I'll check that. He just got that little bit of dice and uh, a couple of dollars. That's about all he's got. What I'm doing out here is just trying to buy a little two, three-hour piece of dope. Who you buying from him? In that car, you selling to him, aren't you? No, I'm selling to him. Yeah, you selling to him. I saw y'all. That's a youngster, man. That dude is 17, 16 years old. Uh -huh. yeah. I smoke. You a man of good morals. I smoke, though. I smoke, though. I don't sell, dude. Get in the car. Smoke, Have a seat. Though. I got the wrong dude. Okay. You got the wrong one? I got the right one now. Let me check over here and see what he threw down. A lot of these people live in this neighborhood, so you don't know if they uh, are running home or running to a friend's house. Just so happens that this uh, time he ran and was cornered in a fence. I didn't know for sure whether he went over the fence or uh, or what, but when I was out approached, the fence is a pretty good, uh, pretty tall. Found him uh, crouched down behind that tree over there. I think he was hoping we would overlook him with those dark clothing. That's another reason why they like to wear dark clothing so they can blend in. Up, well, we got one that ran. Yeah. Just didn't uh, didn't get any dope on him. We uh, I saw him when I came down uh, Langley. I saw him over here at the car. He was on a bicycle. Mel on the bike didn't want to be around us. He started away from us, and I told him to come back over here by the car. Uh, when he came back by the car, he went around on the opposite side, and I couldn't see his hands. He was doing something with his hands down there. I told him to step back on this side. I was going to shake him down for weapons, and uh, that's when he broke and ran. Ran through this lot, through the next one. We caught him hiding behind a tree in the corner of that next lot, surrounded by a fence. So Good. he'll be going to jail with us tonight with uh, for the evading. Good job. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code three. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 10 transmit on tag two. Okay, we'll still send a code three.